gave you a video and told you how easy it was to do something. Earlier I referred to the fact that you need to reach your hand inside here and move the airflow meter. It's not as easy as it looks. This clamp here needs to be loosened considerably, sliding this back off of the airflow meter. There's about a, you'll need to move it back about five eighths of an inch, then you can reach in and move the airflow meter. Other than that, don't take the covers off of these. It's tough to get them back on and you might damage things in the meantime. There really is nothing in here that can be enhanced or improved. If the system is sealed and tight, you, that's the last place I would look. There's nothing in there that's really user friendly. If you get, during the time that you're working on this, you wind up tearing the bellows of these boots, either around or in or out, and believe me, don't just look at it. Disconnect it at the three clamps, pull it off and stretch it. Stretch it out to where you can see the cracks that are in it. If you have a crack that goes clear through, the air that is supposed to be being sensed coming through from the air filter through here and being metered. And this is what this is doing. This is metering the air. It's measuring it by sheer volume passing over the air flap itself. If air is getting in here instead of coming through here, the flap is going to retract itself. It's going to come down less. It's not going to swing as far. As if it doesn't swing as far, it's going to wind up injecting less fuel because it's measuring less air. So in, understand, if the car is going to run right, all the air that goes in this motor must go through here. Period. Now, I know that's not totally possible in a perfect world, but we can get it very, very close. Next thing, if you are in a stopgap measure and you need to repair this, be sure to repair it with a silicone, which is an RTV, a room temperature vulcanizing material, which is sensor safe, which is oxygen sensor safe, and it will say so on the outside of it. If it does not, do not try to use it. It will destroy the oxygen sensor. The silicone itself will impregnate itself on the contact points of the platinum reactor in this, and it will contaminate it to where the osmotic barrier doesn't work anymore, and this system will shut down, and your system, you'll be looking at an $80, an $80 part here. What do you call that? Osmotic resistor? Os osmotic. Yeah, it's an osmotic. Can you spell that? Osmotic? O-S-M-O. <laughs> That's actually, it's, uh, it was one of the, f this in the presence of heat produces an electrical signal. And if you plug up the osmotic barrier on it, you won't get a signal. The connector, this is all nice, smooth silicone. This is a, all of the uh, connectors on all the Z cars have a female spade connector on the, elect, on the electrical connection on it. Don't be afraid if you've got more than one wire on here. Uh, one of them's just to warm it, one of them's to take it into the unit. This actually is a generator. This is a small electric generator that produces a very small amount of voltage. And that small amount of voltage is directly affected by the amount of oxygen that's remaining in your exhaust. And here, that's why it's called an oxygen sensor. The more amount of free oxygen that's left indicates a lean or a rich situation, and it corrects for it. Now, this is not an instant correction. This takes a, a little bit of time. It, it, it will correct it, but it takes a few seconds for it to respond and react. So don't expect this thing to just jump up over, show you all kinds of voltage readings if you take and hit the throttle. It's going to take a little bit for things to move around. Is there any way for Lehman to test that thing unless it's good or bad? Yeah, so you can take, and if it's on its running full bore, you can take a voltmeter, and you can ground to the chassis or the engine, and take your voltmeter on the two-volt scale, take it down here, and you can measure the voltage uh, readout from that, and you're going to find that there's not a whole lot of output there. It's, it's not... 12 volts at all. I mean, it's a very small amount, but it doesn't have to be. The, the computer is designed to sense that small change in voltage uh, and, and do great amount of, of fuel injection quantity changes based on the signals received from this. So if you're getting any, any voltage out of it, then it's probably working? Yes, if you're getting any voltage out of it, it is working. It doesn't necessarily mean it's working perfectly. The next thing to do is unscrew it from the, the exhaust manifold. This is a 7 8 inch not a 13 16 It's larger than a spark plug, so you won't be able to use your spark plug sensor because you won't be able to get it down here anyway. But it'll take a wrench to get on here. There are special O2 sensor removal tools, but uh, thankfully Nissan didn't bury the thing in Egypt to the point you couldn't get to it. This is mounted horizontally right where the Y collectors of the exhaust manifold and your cast iron manifold are. It's always important to put a little anisease compound if you have some. All the new ones will come equipped with some anisease compound to keep this from frying and embedding itself permanently in the exhaust manifold. This little connector here, this one here was defective because it had run rich. It's been cleaned off, but it was really black. Uh, it had run so rich for so long that it, it just no longer sensed anything, and, and I saved it simply just to, to show what one looks like.
So you can destroy an empty sensor by having a motor run there for a long period of time? Yeah, uh, it generally burns up the catalytic converter right along with it. Can you, can you clean the sensors out? When you use them? Not really. You can wipe them off, but the, the reactant, this is just a shield over top of the sensor internally. Uh, there's really no way to clean that part of it because it's just a shield. This is just a, a way for the air to pass through that and then cause the electrical generation. This is actually something that came out of the space shuttle. This is the way they recycled their water. This is, this is literally rocket science, folks. This is one of the benefits we got out of the space program.